Hey everyone and welcome to another video on scuba travel and adventure. My name is Thomas and in this video it's gonna be a pretty simple uh, procedure. It's mostly for the new guys that are starting up riding and want to figure out how to maintain their chain on the bike. Uh, so that thing is uh, pretty filthy right now. I went riding uh, on a weekend and I left it for a couple days so it has a little bit of rust already showing up. Um, and it's a brand new chain that I just uh, recently have changed the cut just a couple of weeks ago uh, so I did change the chain and the sprocket on this bike and uh, I would like to go over uh, simple maintenance as a chain cleaning and uh, lubricating before we jump into it if you like the video hit that like button comment down below and uh, subscribe this way uh, you'll stay updated when I upload new content so like I said few simple tools and uh, that I use uh, to do it uh, this uh, maintenance. So I usually use the kerosene to clean the chain. Uh, it's available pretty much most of the hardware stores or camping stores. And uh, I use the, uh, the chain brush, it's just a couple bucks. You can find it on eBay or Amazon or local bike shop. It's, uh, it's a nicely designed just to fit in the chain and makes the life a little bit easier to scrape the dirt from the chain. And then I am using two different uh, chain lubes. One of them is a uh, Motul. Uh, that I purchased at my local Honda dealer and the other one that's a something new this this one here it's a on and off road uh, lube uh, so I'm gonna try to use this lube this time I was running the other one until now so let's not waste any time and jump into this short video and I'll show you how to go about it Not sure if you can see it here like uh, the chain is pretty messy and uh, I will start with uh, making the chain uh, soaked uh, soak the chain with the kerosene and uh, then I will brush off the dirt from it some people might do it differently I like it plain and plain and simple just uh, wet the rag and It's good to have a center stand. It's kind of hard to do this job without the center stand, to be honest. But it can be done. It just takes way longer. So now what I'll do, I'll just, this, first I'll grab it from the top, hold the brush and get all this gunk out of there. As you see, it's uh, the shine comes back to it, starts to look better already. And then same thing from the bottom of the chain. So we're getting the shine back on it. You can use the different chain cleaners. I find kerosene works okay and uh, it does the job for me. I've been using it since day one. And my other chain uh, lasted uh, pretty good. I like to use the cardboard on the rim that's another good pointer maybe for some of you this way you don't get debris flying all over your rim and you have more cleaning to do after this right so, so once you scrape everything off you can grab a rag and dry it 
as much as possible so to get the kerosene out of there and my rug and dry it off. So like I said, this chain is uh, pretty much brand new. I just, it has uh, probably about 600 kilometers on it. So it's not really that hard, but I was riding pretty hard on the weekend. I went on uh, for a whole day on gravel and dirt. So the whole bike was a mess. So after the trip, it's a good idea to, to clean it up. So once you get this dried off, I usually like to let it wait uh, to um, let it evaporate the leftovers, uh, whatever in there. The sprocket is uh, still in a good shape uh, I, as, I, as it was changed front and back. So at this point uh, we'll grab the lube. So when you're lubing the chain you want to make sure you put it, put the lube where mostly where the o-rings are. So on both sides you gotta make sure it's uh, just just enough to get the o-rings lubricated and the moving parts so it moves nice and freely and you can always check uh, uh, along your chain uh, if you have no stuck uh, chain links or missing o-rings you can see them still uh, on the old one I, I could actually see them start coming out slowly so yeah to do it like I usually like I, like I said I have the cardboard in here and I'll do a little squirts and so this way it goes everywhere. Sometimes it might help to do it like this. Just get a little bit in there on your rag and this way you get that on the bottom as well. You can spray on the top. I don't like it because you get the grease all over the bike. Or you can do it on a sprocket but then again uh, so basically if you want to do in a sprocket you would just uh, cover that uh, section up and uh, spray it on the back on the sprocket here. And like I say I like to have the grease only where I need it, not all over the place. Alright so pretty much this is it. I'm gonna wipe it a little bit so So it's not dripping everywhere and you you don't have a build up all over the place from the chain lube. So as you see it's a pretty simple procedure to clean up the chain, uh, scrape it and uh, put a new lube on it and uh, this way you ensure your long life of your chain, uh, make sure it's properly maintained and uh, good idea to check your um, tension uh, once in a while like uh, especially after longer trips uh, this way you know that uh, you have a proper tension as I did show that on my previous video and again thank you for watching if you found the content helpful please uh, hit that like button and subscribe that always means a lot to me and see you next time in the next video and the next video I will be doing uh, how to install rocks um, handlebar risers.